I think it's a, um, a sort of guided thought process that uh, leads to some action to try things out. And those things really come from the things that interest and excite me, mm -hmm. um, that you know, you've encouraged me to, to go and look out and see how, how it might uh, fit in the world around me, the world that I inhabit. And um, that, that's certainly something that I think anybody can do. Well, I, I came to faith in my 20s, a sort of young adult, but I, I was married and had kids, and that was, uh, that was a big part of, uh, of it. So at, at the time, I was experiencing a range of emotions I, I hadn't experienced before. And um, actually, really threw my wife out and I started uh, going to church. Uh, I was baptised the same time as my second child. Uh, and um, not long after that, in true Church of England fashion, I was asked to go on a rotor and I, I became the church council treasurer. So I, I quickly got involved in sort of admin work in church. But um, I came to a point where uh, I felt there was only so much treasuring or administering or wardening you could do. My wife and I went down to attend a week at Lee Abbey Christian Centre in Devon. Yeah. And um, this was actually a session on prayer by Bishop John Pritchard. And that really revitalised both my prayer and uh, Bible reading yeah. life, which had really stagnated a little bit. And then that, that really gave me the courage to step out a bit from these other jobs and to say, look, I want to do a bit more, um, but didn't know what that was exactly. When did you start to get a sense of uh, trying to, to work out perhaps what your actual gifts were or your, did you think about it in terms of a calling? Um, I, I did mm. to the extent that um, I wondered if I had a vocation to ordain ministry. Mm. Uh, I was never completely comfortable with that idea, as, as you no doubt remember. Mm. And, uh, um, but I wondered what else there might be. Mm. What I found with the, uh, the PDP um, process or structure mm. was that um, it was very sort of encouraging in its nature and it was really about me and me figuring out and you facilitating me figuring out what it was I should be looking for. And I think the big, the big benefits of that was it was, it was just enough structure to, to stop it being aimless. Yeah but not too much structure to feel prescriptive and, and, as I said, a burden. So where is God leading you in your life right now? I think he's taken me into a role that's mission focused um, w within the local community where I live, um, maybe a little bit wider than that as well, and certainly in the workplace. So faith in the workplace, mission in the workplace is a really big part of of where this has gone for me. Mm. Since we started um, on this process uh, with, as I say, a very supportive parish priest, mm. um, I've been able to effectively define a role around me and what mm. I'm called to do. Mm. So it's been using your gifts and your strengths that you in work, that, like the project management side of things, um, and applying those as well in the community and. That, that's 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 right, and um, I mean, what one of the things that has surprised me a little bit is just how transferable, if you like, some of those skills have have been. My faith is informing and directing how I behave with people. Um, it probably doesn't look very different from how it looked mm. before, but it feels different yeah. to me. Mm. So, how would you summarise the impact that? Uh, having a personal discipleship plan has had on you in the last 12 months? Well, I think it's taken me more quickly than I would have done otherwise to a place where I've got, for me, a much more fulfilling role, a much more energising uh, role within, within the church itself, but much more widely based than it was before. So it's both 
wider in the church but it's also out in the world um, both in my own community where I live and and in the workplace. Mm -hmm.